So in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to digitize your old cassettes. And it's really quite straightforward. Even if you're not very technical, if you are the type of person who gets very nervous at the thought of doing anything technical, relax, because I'm going to show you in this little video exactly how it's done and exactly how straightforward it can be. Basically to do this, to take your old tapes and digitize them, you only need five things. And you can see those five things here in the video. So over here on the left, I have a cassette player. Now this is just a standard handheld GE recorder from back in the day, but you can use basically any cassette player and preferably one that has a volume control. Uh, and it can be like this, a, a handheld recorder, a Walkman, it can be a boom box, whatever, anything that plays a tape and has a headphone jack. As long as it has a headphone jack and a volume control, you're good to go. The second thing you need is, of course, your tape, whatever tape it is that you want to digitize. The third thing you'll need is one of these adapter cords. And as you can see, it's a headphone jack to a headphone jack, or basically a 1 8 inch jack to another 1 8 inch jack. And you want to make sure that it's stereo. If you look very closely at the jack, you'll see two black lines on the tip. And if you see those two black lines, it means the cable is meant for stereo. If you just see one line, that's mono, and we don't want that. So basically you wanna to try to find an adapter jack, headphone to headphone and in stereo. The next thing you'll need is a digital recorder. And the digital recorder I have is the Sony ICD UX570. I love this little thing. And on my channel, I posted a, actually a review of this recorder a few months ago. So I would highly encourage you to go find that video and uh, check out my review of the Sony ICD UX570. It's a great little device. I've gotten so much use out of it over the last year or so. Really, there's 101 uses for this thing. Now, you don't have to buy this particular make and model. There are other companies that make other similar handheld digital recorders. It doesn't really matter. Basically, what does matter is that your digital recorder has a stereo in jack. And on the Sony, it's this red jack here on the top of the recorder. That's your stereo input. So basically, we're going to plug, we're going to run our cable from the tape, the headphone out jack on the tape player to the stereo in jack on the Sony recorder and then we'll be ready to digitize our old tape. And the fifth and final thing that we'll need is a pair of headphones. And this can be any pair of headphones you have. They don't have to be good quality. Uh, they can be earbuds, headphones, earbuds, whatever you wanna call them. Uh, I have my old pair of Sony in-ear headphones that I love to use. And that's basically it. Those are the five things that you need to digitize an old tape. So let's get started. I'll show you how we'll do this. So as I mentioned before, your tape player has to have a headphone out jack. And you can see the headphone out jack on this player is right there. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cable and I'm going to plug one end into the headphone jack on the tape player, just like so. And I'm going to plug the other end into the input jack on my Sony recorder, just like this. And basically, we're ready to digitize tapes. And again, you don't have to use the Sony ICD UX570, but again, there are many other similar recorders by other manufacturers. Now, what we'll do is we're going to get our tape ready I'm going to open up my tape player, and again, this can be a, it can be a Walkman, um, a boombox, whatever you like, anything that has a headphone jack and a volume control. Now, very very important, I'm going to turn the volume way way down. Why am I doing this? Because if you happen to have your tape player, and if you don't realize that the volume is cranked really really loud 
Maybe the volume is way up to maximum volume. If I plug that into my Sony recorder and then hit play, that extreme volume can really cause damage to the recorder. So I want to start down at the lowest volume possible. Now, I'm just going to turn this around so you can see it better. I'm going to turn my Sony recorder on. Okay. And I'm going to get it ready to record. Basically, I have to go to the home page and I'm going to select record. Okay, so basically it's ready to record. I'm going to hit the record pause button and I'm going to hit it twice very, very fast. The reason why I do that, I hit it twice very, very fast. The first time I hit it, it goes into record mode and the second time I hit it, it immediately pauses it. So it's ready to go right now. So all I have to do, oh yes, and I'll mention also my headphone jack. I'm going to plug that into the other jack at the top of the Sony recorder. And that's basically just to monitor the recording and make sure everything's going okay. So you can put your headphones on and listen. All right. Okay, so I'm going to hit record on the Sony recorder. It's now recording. You see the red light at the top is lit up. And then I'm going to hit play on my tape player. And I'm going to turn the volume up very, very slowly. And if you watch over here on the Sony recorder, as I turn up the volume, you, you should see the record level meter coming up. Yep, there it goes and you don't want it too loud. Basically on the Sony recorder, I'm not sure how other recorders work, but on the Sony recorder, there's two little plus signs. If you are below the furthest plus sign to the left, the recording is going to be too quiet. If you're above the furthest little plus sign to the right, it's going to be too loud. But basically, as you can see, it's recording right now. So the signal is coming out of the tape deck and into the Sony recorder and it's basically taping right now. And again, if I wanted to, I could put my headphones on and listen to it as it's recording. And again, you want the volume to be at just the right level so it's not too loud or not too quiet. That looks good right about there. And that's basically it. So I just record, maybe you want to record the whole tape. Maybe you just want to record one or two songs, it's entirely up to you. Basically, as I've shown you, you hit play on the tape machine, record on the, on the recorder. When you are finished, when you've got the recording that you wanted to digitize, you just hit stop on the Sony recorder. And that's it, you're done. Now, the recording that we just made is now in the memory of the Sony ICD UX570. And basically all I have to do, you might be wondering, well, okay, if the recording is in the memory of that, that recorder, how do I get it onto my laptop? Very simple. Down here at the bottom is a USB port. And I just connect that USB port into my laptop, my PC, your Chromebook, whatever it is that you use. And you can very, very, very easily transfer your recordings from your Sony recorder onto your laptop, PC, etc. And that's it. It's basically that straightforward. Even the most technically challenged person can do this. It's really not difficult. So again, just to recap, basically all you need is your tape player. The tape player has to have a headphone jack and a volume control. Then you need your adapter cable, which is the one headphone jack to another headphone jack, stereo. You need a digital recorder and a set of headphones, and that's it. You're ready to go. And again, once you've transferred your recordings to your, your laptop or whatever device it is that you use to save your WAV files or MP3s, you can do whatever you want with them. Maybe you're really old school and you still like burning stuff to CD. You can do that with the files. You could put them on a USB stick. I know the car that I drive, you can't play cassettes or CDs. You can only play... Uh, there's a auxiliary jack 
for connecting um, an iPhone or something like that. And there's also a USB port for playing songs that are on a USB stick. So you can very, very easily put the songs on a USB stick and then listen to them in your car. As simple as that. So that's how we digitize our cassette to a digital recording. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video very, very helpful. And please, as always, subscribe to my channel. I post new tech videos every week. And the best way to stay on top of all the latest reviews is to subscribe. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.